man what is happening my youtube family of course it is your boy be new i'm coming at you on this sunday and first and foremost as always want to send out positive vibrations and blessings to anybody who could be listening now with all that being said we all know that the los angeles lakers were in action on yesterday taking on none other than the denver nuggets and at this point hot damn the lakers feel like the Dem the denver nuggets own them because it has been eight victories in a row if you include the last year's sweep and the games of the regular season prior to and the Lakers just seem like they can't get out of their own way. I was proud of the Lakers through the first two quarters. The third quarter they start to let the game get away from them because in the third quarter as you all know the Lakers were up by 11 points and you're thinking okay they doing good. LeBron James is doing good but as we all know they played the Nuggets two other games on milestone games and the Lakers didn't get the victory so maybe too much is going into that as far as uh thinking about other things but at the end of the day the lakers just can't seem to get out of their own way and what i mean by that is every one of those games even if you go back to last year's playoff series was a close game down the stretch you're talking about game four of that series uh where the lakers were ahead i believe with two minutes left you talk about every game going down the last two or three minutes of the game the lakers were right there either tied or only a couple of points behind the Denver nuggets which the game easily and wraps for both of them and you would think when you have somebody such as LeBron James and Anthony Davis, two great superstars who are capable of finishing games, but you have to give props where props are due, and the props are due to none other than Jamal Murray and, of course, Nikolai Jokic. And a lot of people think that AD and LeBron are the best duo in the league and might not have the best supporting role players, which we can talk about that in just a moment, too. But my point that I'm trying to make is that Denver Nuggets just outperformed the Lakers down the stretch. Some of that may be due to coaching. Some of that may be due to other things. But my biggest takeaway is, I don't know if y'all noticed this, but why in the hell was not, why was Anthony Davis not guarding Jokic down the stretch? And I understand throughout the majority of the game, uh, uh, Rui Achimura was doing a great job, you know, as far as that. And Anthony Davis coming along on help defense, which I think was a pretty good game plan because Anthony Davis is a great help defender. He would come at the last minute if Rui couldn't handle him and Jokic got too much of a, uh, a supreme position on the inside and then come. Of course, we know Jokic is great at really giving it, uh, making assists to other players once the double comes. So I think the Lakers, you know, doubling from the strong side kind of threw Jokic off his game a little bit Jokic really wasn't having a good game through three quarters now if you look at what Anthony Davis did he just did not I mean LeBron James gave you all he could but Anthony Davis has to step up in these type situations but my main point and I'm not going to make a real long video today like I said as y'all can see probably I'm on vacation I'm chilling I've been decompressed the past few days we're not even going to talk about the game the other night where LeBron James ultimately had to be the coach and tell Darvin Ham not to challenge a play and then in the end up you know, against the Wizards where they almost lost that game and they end up winning at the end because they still had a challenge, thank goodness, because of Coach James, but we're not going to get into all that. But point being on yesterday is the main takeaway is even in the last waning minutes of the game, why in the hell is Anthony Davis not taking the responsibility of guarding Jokic. Jokic is a two-time MVP. Anthony Davis is a zero-time MVP. But Anthony Davis is somebody who is a defensive player of the year candidate and I feel is probably the best defender in the NBA as far as being an anchor on defense, as far as a rim protector, as far as a one-on-one -on -one defender. Even at his size and as big as he is, he can get out on the perimeter on switches and stick with some of the best guards in this game when, you come, when you're talking about switches. So I don't understand why at the end of the game you can to put Rui Achimura in situations where you could just put AD on that man and let Achimura go ahead and handle Gordon. Because at the end of the day, y'all could start having his way at the end of that game. That's plain and simple what it was. I'm about to read back and watch the film because as y'all know, you know what I'm saying, your boy on vacation, I might have been a little bit alleviated because I got this big, you know what I mean, I'm sipping on a big 1.75 bottle, you understand me? But it's all about decompression, man. So, you know, I've been off for these few days. I really need it. I'm gonna be back, uh, I think, 
Monday, uh, tomorrow I check out, so I'll be back at the house, back in full work mode, but at the same time, trying to come to you guys every day with a breakdown, but of course, man, life happens, so I just do what I can, but I appreciate all the people who join me every day, and I appreciate any newcomers, so if you are one of those newcomers, and you want to hear about LeBron James, the Lakers, and good NBA talk on every day, or at least two to three times a week when I can get it in, and you know what you need to do, hit that like, hit that share, and hit that subscribe, and that's all this is your boy B New. I'm saying right on to the real and much love to these haters. I'm out.